Hi, welcome to Mix Tricks. Today I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog to back up to a wall and do a handstand, propping the back legs against the wall. Um, this is the trick that I'm teaching Mick right now, and I'm going to show you some of the materials that I have here. By the way, this whole trick, I, I have to thank uh, Linda Kitzinger and Flip for teaching me how to teach the trick. What I have here is a plank that I found in my garage. You just need something um, firm and safe that you can tip. See, it's just a board, a piece of plywood, and I'm going to use it at different angles. First, low like this, and then gradually raising it. This here is just a kitchen mat. It's uh, got some grip to it, some tread, and it's a little padded. Uh, but you really just need something so that your dog doesn't slip. Um, also, I have these just uh, regular kitchen bar stools that I'm using to create a kind of chute so that Mick backs up straight. It's not really a problem for him, but um, I want to make it as easy as possible for him. Um, the prerequisites for this trick, besides the materials, are um, you want a reliable stand because sometimes the dog will sit when they feel something behind them and you want a reliable backup, right? Let's give this a try, Mickey. So the first thing you do is get your dog to stand with the pillows or the ramp behind him or her and uh, ask for a backup. The moment the dog's back leg touches the uh, ramp or pillow, um, reward it. Let's show them, Mick, right here. I use treats and a treat pouch, <laughs> you're a good boy, and a clicker. Mick stand, Mick back up. Okay. Eventually your dog will start to hop a little higher. I'm going to raise this just a wee bit. And I'm going to move these in just a little bit. In fact, why don't I turn them this way to narrow his access. Try that. All right, stand. So right here, right here. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yes. See that time he touched it, but I was not happy until he went a little higher. Ready? Back up. Whoops. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Back up. We might have to regress a little bit here. Back up. Yes. We got a bit of a hop. I rewarded the hop. Didn't quite make it, but yes. See that, uh, how he's lifting his backside? That's what I'm going for. Stand. Back up. Good boy! Back up. Good boy! That time we had both paws. That mat might not be grippy enough. Back up. Of course, eventually you want your dog to stand against the wall, which isn't grippy at all. You know, I'm going to try uh, giving him a clue here. I'm going to try saying, hup. Ready? Back up. Hup. Good boy! Just to let him know we need some lift. We need to do this uh, 50 to 100 times, so I will spare you that, but uh, let's review, okay? You need something to angle so that at first they, uh, they touch it with their paw, and then they get both paws on it, and then you can tilt it higher and higher so that the dog has to lift the back end higher and higher to make contact. Eventually, what you can do is start putting a, a tape of paper plate right here. I should have brought one for you, but I didn't. Tape the paper plate right there so the dog can see the target. After a while, you can transfer that target to a wall. That's the next step. We're not there yet, but uh, maybe after a few repetitions, you will be. So go have fun with your dog. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and you can also join us on Facebook. We have a spark team. It's called Mix Tricks. This is Mick and these are his tricks. It's M-I-C-K apostrophe S Mix Tricks. Thanks for watching.